Hey y'all, it's Nancy the Handy Scandy. Thanks for joining me for another crafty venture. Today we are doing something a little bit different. We are playing with this layered camouflage stencil set from A Colorful Life Designs. And I just, it's kind of a product focus, if you will. Spotlight, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, these are some of the samples that I created. And so, and, and this is just my picture. It's not the best picture. That's why I shared the, um, the product one from the website. But it's a fun stencil. And I think when we think of camo, we think of military. We think of hunting. We think of just men. Um, you know, things like that. But it's much more versatile than that. And I just sat down and I had a play. To be honest, some of my footage did not record because, well... I'm human I forgot to hit record some of it I ran out of storage some of it I just lost but this is the bulk of it and so this particular one um, it, as, as you can see I'm using the distress oxides and it's a purple so this gray it's just a gray cardstock from I think it was recollections no actually it was from AC Moore before they went out of business I bought a big pack of neutral and um, so it's it's maybe 60 weight it's really it's really lightweight so but I thought you know what it's okay we're just playing we'll see what we can do with it and then once we're done we'll see how we can use it so these stencils are so easy to layer up you saw when I was flipping it around I was looking for the writing because the first one says the name of the stencil and the product number and then it says base and then the next one says middle and then the next one says top so you know exactly which one to use and they layer up so easily and on this purple one I'm showing this in real time so you can see you know my, my process for like finding the name you can see there by my thumb on my left hand well, by both thumbs right now that's where the writing is on the stencil that bottom left corner so as you're you know turning it and flipping it that's where you want to look to find to find the name of the stencil and to find which layer it is so here's the reveal when i pull up the second one oh and you can see the first one is and these are oxides so of course they dry back even softer than what you see here but that first uh, pink it was actually a pink that i used was just too soft and there wasn't enough contrast between it and the gray cardstock. So as when I'm done with this one, I decide, hmm, I need to I need to change change directions here. So I do. So after I'm done with this one, and I will have the links or the inks listed and linked below if I can remember. And most of them I show on screen, so I should be able to look back. But see, those darker two are really good, but that light one was just too light. So I. Um, I put the type clean the top one off and I put it back on and I found a different pinky purple and I show here in a second I want to say this one might be wilted violet and the other was like tattered rose or something and it was just too soft but don't don't get me to lying because here in a second I show you the lids <laughs> and I show you one's a thumbs up one's a thumbs down <laughs> and so let's pull that that top base off so that one I can't see from my perspective here so wilted violet was just too light and then that one was better I think that's the tattered rose but yeah see that's so much better it's still super light but look that's the card I made out of it it's very it can be girly it can be boy but it does not have to be military or hunting or masculine and I just thought it was fun with a little kiss kiss and the big kissy lips and I have to say that kissy lip stamp is from Colorado crafts it's their part of their big and bold line but ACLD as well as Technique Junkies do carry a stencil that's the Big Lips. And I've used that stencil as well, and it's amazing. It's very similar, it's a little different, but um, yeah, I didn't wanna do stencil over stencil on this one. I wanted to use the, um, the stamp, so that's why I did that. But here we go, we're on to the green. I've sped it up probably three times, no, just two times. I've sped it up two times. And that first green I started to use was pretty much the same experience as the first pinky purple I used on the last one. It was just too light. So I went in with this one that was a little bit darker, and that's better. So here, line it right up. Look, no problem. No problem whatsoever. Just boom, lay it right down. And if you get them offset just a little bit, it's okay. It's camouflage, right? It's not a big deal. It's not like a super precise one, but the way these stencils are cut out, it's... 
that's a super precise process and she's done such a great job she is Mary Kay she's the owner of a colorful life designs and she makes these herself she designs them she makes them she's an amazing lady she's an artist in, in her own right and I am very honored to be a part of her team and I love 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 these products but you guys know that if you've been if you've been a subscriber for any amount of time or follow me on any other socials you know that I'm an ACLD fan through and through so here we go I'm gonna lift this and I think that green was was oh my gosh I love it I love it I think that was evergreen bow but look again you know it doesn't have to be masculine it doesn't have to be hunting military any of that and that little set was from or that little stamp was from the um, chronic pain warrior from sassy and crafty and I just thought that was kind of fun that can be a, a pain card it can be you know a child's card it can be a get well card it can be a welcome baby card it doesn't have to be the stereotype things that we think of stent or camo for and I'm loving these yellows on black I do have to say that I wish I'd used a different type of ink because again these oxides dry back and as they oxidize they lose at least on this black one they lose some of their their pigment and so here you can see that they're yellows and as I'm lining them up you know they're yellow but when I show you the the finished card you can see they they just kind of look like I don't know like shades of gray actually so anyway here I go I'm gonna do the, the second part and this is sped up times two as well so but you saw I had a little bit of trouble trying to figure out the um, placement of this stencil but only because I had started off the page like I'm not I'm not stenciling the entire stencil just like I don't know what is that four-fifths of it so and and that was just because you guys know numbers and perfection and things are hard for me <laughs> so but the stencil itself is so easy and it's so much fun and look at that oh my gosh how fun is that and because I did this right before um, Veterans Day I just I wanted to do the poppy and kind of a nod to the military on that one but of course if I have to explain what that's about it, it wasn't effective was it but anyway I think it's fun it just shows that you know you can use florals with camo too it's just fun so here I'm going in with the blues but I thought let me do the darker one on the base instead of the lighter one which is what I had been doing put using the lighter but you can do them in any order you want to do but I kind of like this one a lot as well I don't like my finished card but it's not because of the camo <laughs> you'll see in a minute so here I go with my mid-range blue and you know what you could do these in rainbow colors you can do them all you know super monochromatic where the colors aren't so far apart on on the spectrum because these are all you know close enough to be well like Copics you know you do a light a mid-range and a dark but you can do them closer together you can do them all darks you can do them all mid-range so you won't have that drastic of a change you know between between the layers of the camo but you can you can truly use this however you want I could see this done in metallics I could see this done with pastes oh my gosh pastes y'all oh look at that blue isn't that fun and so don't judge me on this card look at that pig's face I really messed that up but the feet I'm proud of the feet and I wish it were smaller so you could see more of that camo it almost looks like a cloudy sky back there and that's fun I lost the footage on the pink one but it's really cute I'm loving her and she's on an action wobbler so that that's adorable oh I do have that boom I thought I lost it isn't that sweet <laughs> do you ever just get happy with what you've done <laughs> <laughs> so guys here's that camel stencil again the top one is all three layers and then there's the the extra layers or the the three layers that make up the total so guys this has been so much fun if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you're not already a subscriber you know I'd appreciate it if you would and um, leave me a comment downstairs let me know which one your was your favorite and what you think you might do with the stencil thanks guys I'm Nancy the handy scandy see you again next time bye bye